They have the tower locked down with an elite guard team. You're gonna have to take them out before you can enter the facility. All right, so we're doing city under siege on brutal difficulty. So I can show off my cape build, her gear, and why I went with what I went with for her. Every member of the elite she is definitely a uh, very strong character. Is down. And as you see, I keep swapping my arrows over. Did they go away already. I'll get into that at the end of the video. But yeah, these, man, she is so strong. These enemies just melt. In the meantime, I'm sending you to the lower floors to find a target who has more information. Yeah, her scattershot build with the red gear, her scattershot build is absolutely nuts. And I have been grinding and grinding for days so that way I could get this video up so that way people could see it. Because she is very strong. Like, I've been a Hulk main since the game came out. Played around a little bit with Miss Marvel, but I think uh, Kate Bishop might be my new main. There's a security chief up ahead who has the information for the facility. You know what to do. Let's just bypass these guys. There they are. All right, so I have that singular arrow out. I forget the name of it. Let's show off how strong some of his gear is. Fully charge that, swap back over to Scattershot. As you see, it has a little mark on him. We'll get into that at the end. Yeah, dude, look at how fast that health has just melted. An impressive and educational performance. Excellent work. I really hope that they fix this hair clipping out of this. I really like this outfit, but her hair sticking out drives me crazy. Using his credentials to enter the AIM database. And we have located the clone on the top floor. Watch out. I think it might be expecting you. Pathetic. Oh, I messed that up, but as you saw, she uh, teleports it, so I'll get into that too. It's another piece of gear that I was, uh, desperate to farm for. Oh wow, she actually just used a bunch right there. damage numbers, man. Okay, that did hit. I saw a little mark. No, that's it. Oops. Look at that health just disappear. Heck yeah, man. That was awesome. Alright, so now that we took him down, I'll go ahead and go over my gear, and then also go over what uh, 
skills I have set up for her. Because some of the skills uh, are important, Avengers. some aren't so if much with this build. We'll be back in touch. Alright, so gear. Um, still haven't figured out a good sword for her. But I found a nice exotic, and I figured that a 15% increased quantum energy would be nice to have. But this Hawkbird's Gloves. So this is from that really awful 14-floor... Uh, hive mission that you have to do last avenger standing and my god this thing took me like three days of actually running through to finally get this to drop because it just kept giving me every other exotic piece except for of course the one that i wanted but um as you see the middle skill uh shock tipped arrows it actually works for scatter shot which i was a little worried because i've seen people get this um and have it not be for scatter shot arrows dealing that elemental damage so thank god it gave me the one that i actually wanted but the nice thing is so you have that 15 percent increased firing time for the razor and disruptor arrows the scatter shot gets its damage but the big thing at the very bottom is scatter shot effector so 20 percent increased stun status and all normal damage of scattershot arrows. So 20% increased damage from your scattershot arrows. And you're popping those things off like crazy. So that's part of where a lot of her damage comes from. And uh, as you saw earlier, where I actually managed to not uh, take some of that damage. Um, so this one, I believe this comes from doing the vault mission, the agent's bodysuit. I could be wrong and I'll... Uh, make a comment later if I find out that I'm wrong, but I think this is from a vault mission and that auto blink in the middle there, I really like. So this does come with some resolve and resilience, which is nice because every character should have a little bit, especially playing on brutal, but 14.9% chance to automatically phase shift when taking damage and it completely negating the attack. And that's really great when you're fighting the boss. As you saw, I was standing in some of that AOE damage that uh he was putting out and she just kept blinking and that was her just missing you know only taking so many hits from that which greatly reduces the damage that they're gonna take and so this piece i also felt was worth farming and then lastly this was from just a regular elite hive so thank god not the 14th floor um this one i farmed pretty quickly i did probably two or three runs didn't get it got frustrated and then farmed everything else, did this one last, and finally got my Archer's Charm. And this one has, the big thing is Disruptor Extension. So that increase in duration of disruption effect on enemies by 3 seconds and reduces their defense by 30%. So that was a big, big, big win for Kate with this. So that's why, as you saw, I kept swapping back over to that singular arrow... Hold it down, fully charge it, and shoot it, and that hit makes the disruption effect start. Keeps it up for an additional three seconds, and then they're going to take their uh, defenses dropping by 30%, so they're taking a lot more damage. So you have this running on those bigger enemies that have a big health pool or on a boss. Pop it, and then you turn around and you have that 20% increase damage from your scattershot arrows is going to make a massive, massive difference. And then for these minor artifacts, I just kind of went with precision. I want to say I bought both of these off of one of the vendors. And then, of course, we have uh, the Sacred Nordstone to get that 6.2 in increase uh, crit chance when you have a damage boost up. Which she crits, man, she's been critting like crazy. And as far as skills go, um, I didn't worry too much about what you put for support heroic big thing um assault heroic so singularity i love um especially when you're doing like a vault or you're doing one of the hive missions and there's a lot of enemies that are going to be in the area you pop one of these and it just pulls them all in together and then you just scatter shot and you're just going to see just obscene amounts of just damage 
all over and she just destroys them and for this one so i usually put this additional warp arrow but which piece was it all right yeah this one the archer's charm right there in the middle warp extensor or yeah warp extensor gain an extra warp arrow charge so i was actually able to swap from having this activated to getting a little bit of extra damage off of that i would normally until you get that piece of gear go with void walker just so that way you can you know pop a couple if you're doing a vault mission or something and there's a lot of mobs that you need to take out but then feel free to swap over to this just to get a little bit of extra damage and then obviously for ultimate heroic um, quantum storm just to be able to sit there and just unload on them with this but i've actually found using that singular if you have a big boss or something that singular arrow with the scatter shot is just amazing and i don't even think about using my ultimate heroic and then again just a little uh assault heroic energy build up and then under mastery melee i mean you're running a range build you can kind of put what you want there but for ranged you're going to go with the three in the middle because those are for scatter shot so right here you have reduced the spread so the spread's a lot smaller than what it initially is so you can fire a lot easier on that singular target but not only that you're getting um increased damage output and then you're also getting two additional arrows so you have you're firing in a smaller spread and you're getting those two extra arrows in there and they're getting that 20 percent damage boost which is absolutely in crate absolutely insane um and then for here again intrinsic abilities and all that you just kind of put what you want i don't think that really mattered too much for how i built my character but the big things were man that last avenger standing 14th floor hive mission was brutal to go through it was rough but i went through it over and over took days got this piece and this is this is part of the, part of the big thing that you need and i like this chess piece just because of that uh, auto blink that you get plus you get that resolve and resilience to kind of help make her a little less squishy and then again the archer's charm is the other really big piece so if you're only looking for the two first things to get go for that hawkbird's gloves and the archer's charm and man she just like has been crazy i haven't touched my hulk since she came out and i'm kind of salty about that because i was gonna swear about my hulk but then i started playing her and i did not want to go back to anybody else